What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Look, before we get too deep into this video, I got to explain to you that my setup right now, this is totally different than what I'm used to. So it might seem like my eyes are going all over the place and I'm not really looking at you. And that's because my main camera is this. Right now, I'm shooting on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus in selfie mode. So the camera's over there, like over there, and I'm trying to look at the, whatever. So here's my main shooter, man. This is the Sony a6400 and attached to it, I have the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens. And also attached to it is the Deity uh, Video Mic Pro, I believe it is. Uh, I can't remember exactly what name that is. The link is in the description though. And we are here to talk about the Zion, Zion, Zion. However you pronounce the name, this is the Weeble S and I can see how this can become anyone's go-to gimbal. Let's do it. There are tons of reviews and videos about this thing. There are setup videos and all kinds of stuff that you can look at as far as content. So with all that good content out there, I know those guys can run circles around me explaining all this technical jargon and stuff. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes to explain what I really like about this gimbal and why you'll probably like it too. First of all, as a quick comparison, I have the DJI Ronin S here to compare to because they're direct competitors, man. And they have a very similar footprint with I think the Weeble S being a tiny, tiny bit it's smaller and it's a similar form factor. I think the only advantage that DJI has at this point is the fact that it's kind of modular. You can take this tripod off and then take the handle off and then you have three parts for storage. Uh, other than that, I do believe form factor is gonna end up going to the Weeble S because you have this, uh, this port right here where you can take your tripod off and then attach it there. Let me show you how to do this. So you just screw it on right there and then you can kind of change up your configuration on how you're holding this thing. And you can also easily go low with those underslung shots like that. Whereas you can't really do that with the Ronin S. But this ain't a comparison video. I just brought this up here so you can compare sizes and they're very similar in size. And as far as storage though, I think the Ronin actually breaks down a little bit smaller. Hey, sorry to bother you while you are uh, watching the video and everything, but this is important, man. You know what would be really, really cool? Is if you would like hit the subscribe button. Yeah, it's down there, right there. Yeah, hit that. And then, you know, that little bell next to it. Won't you hit that bell too and, and click on those notifications because you might want to know when I upload a new video from time to time. I do them actually pretty often. It'd be great if you'd watch them. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right, see ya. We now return to your regular programming. Back to the Weeble S and why I like it so much. My favorite thing about it is the quick detach system that they've uh, created for this thing. So right here, can you get in here real quick? We got this quick mount plate. So right here, I'm using the riser on here, but we have this quick mount plate or quick detach plate. All you do is screw it on there just like that. And you see these little two pinholes right here? They actually match up to those two little bumps right there. You see them? And then once you get the plate attached, you just push this little pin in right there and then you're all set to go. And you do the reverse actions to take it off. So let me show you how that works. So you just line up the pins with the holes just like this. And then you push that little pin on the bottom. Can you see that? Bam, and it's in there. And once you got everything locked on, all you gotta do is screw this little knob right here and everything's nice and tight and it won't come off. So if you can see right there, let me do this for you. Let me unscrew that. And then I don't want my camera to fall, but you press this little button in right here, bam, and you lift up and the camera's off. So what that means is that you don't have to move these levers or anything. Like once you get this thing balanced, it can stay balanced and you can quickly remove your camera or attach it if you want to. So as we talk about balancing, let's talk about my next favorite thing about this gimbal. You can clearly see these little red levers right here. There's three of them, one for each axis. So right here, we can unlock that axis and then we can come on the other side unlock this axis very quickly and then we can come over to the pan axis and unlock that now if you try to balance this gimbal you are going to have a hard time balancing this thing with all the axes just running loose on you. So what those little red levers do is they actually let you lock it for storage and they let you lock it in place. So let me get this thing. Okay, that says this side up. So let's put that like that. Then we'll lock this axis. See, it's locked now. And then this one is swinging all over the place. Let's lock this one. 
so it's locked and now I will lock the pan axis right there so as I'm trying to put my camera onto the plate it's not swiveling all over the place let me just put that right there and so you can see how easy this is to mount so once it's on the plate all you gotta do is press the lever push in and screw everything nice and hand tight and you are already set to go so I pre-balanced this thing before the video and it is not hard to balance it all it actually comes with great instructions on how to get this thing balanced but let me go ahead and just let me mess it up just like that and then I'll turn it on that way you can actually see how it turns on and fires up I can see the LCD panel is lit and BAM there it is it's all balanced and ready to go so they do give you all the necessary cables you're gonna need to connect this thing to your camera uh, you don't have to go out and buy anything it comes with everything you're gonna need fortunately there's a long list of cameras that this thing is actually compatible with so you should not have any trouble if you have one of the most popular cameras uh, for the Sony series there are some workarounds for some glitches they're having right now but just wait for an update and everything's gonna be just fine everybody's aware that you know sometimes we have some issues with these Sony uh, Alpha cameras and the zoom software one of the things I was actually concerned about as far as having such a short handle here was that uh, I'd be pressing these buttons buttons all the time but luckily if you double tap the upper portion of this wheel twice you'll see where it says key lock right there so now nothing I do can you see that nothing I do will affect the gimbal position which can be a pro and a con depending on what you want to do with it but that's how you avoid accidental touches you can actually quickly double tap to lock so right now I'm actually uh, panning and everything and nothing's happening so I'll just double tap up again and now I can actually manipulate the gimbal position so that's nice to have considering that the handle is so short and the palm of your hand is actually going to be covering up every control on this gimbal another one of my favorite thing is that all the controls are simply just there you have your lock right there so if you just want to go into lock mode you don't have to press any buttons like two or three times you just flip this switch down to lock and then you're in the lock position or if you want to go into pan follow just flip it up now you're in pan follow or if you want to go into follow mode all you have to do is press and hold the trigger and you're there if you want to go into go mode all you have to do is press and hold the function button and you're locked in go mode until you release that button for the vlogger in you yes it comes equipped with vlogging mode or selfie mode with a triple tap one two three and then the camera just turns around and faces you man that's all up in my face but if you're done with that selfie mode you just one two three and it goes away if at any given time you get off track or kind of lose your center with this thing all you have to do is double tap and it'll go back to its home position and that's whether it's in selfie mode or the forward facing mode like it is now it does have a vortex mode which allows you to do that little spinning technique which you're filming but if you have a microphone on the top you might have some issues with that let me demonstrate how it doesn't work with a microphone so if you double tap the plv button tap tap it'll go into vortex mode and then it hits the camera right there i'm sorry it hits the microphone right there and it might go into um yeah that's it right there it says access lock now that i've removed the mic let's go ahead and try that vortex mode again tap tap it goes into vortex mode and then you can do your little spinny spinny technique just like that all right that is a cool feature to have on this gimbal one of the things i thought i was going to have an issue with was these detachable batteries right here my first real gimbal was the ronin s and it has the non-detachable batteries in the handle and i thought that was pretty cool because all you had to do is uh, plug in a usb-c cable and you could charge the whole thing up now while this will not charge with these batteries in here i have grown to like the fact that they are detachable because even though you get 14 hours of battery life in these things you could actually purchase an extra two batteries and the way you charge them is you just put them in this little charging pack right here just like such and then you plug in your usb-c right there and you're good to go so if you want to you can purchase two separate batteries separately have two in the gimbal itself and then have two on standby and that's going to give you a total of 28 hours of playing time with this gimbal then you'll always have power once you actually adjust to the learning curve of this thing i think it's a great gimbal and it's definitely worth every penny and another one of my most favorite things about it is that even though it comes equipped with so much capability you can upgrade this thing like beyond your belief they have this wireless attachment that you can put on there where you can transmit the video there's actually a plethora of upgrade accessories available at the launch of this thing like they're available right now which is super cool because if you want to you can just use it as is which is plenty for the average filmmaker but if you want to upgrade this thing to some full-fledged gigantic rig you can do so because all the attachments are readily available to you like I said I'm no expert in this kind of stuff but I'm definitely happy that I have the Weeble S in my arsenal because this thing is coming in super handy these days when I'm shooting my videos I gotta go for now but make sure you dig in those links to find out my other channels follow me on social media and I got links to 
to all my video gear down there. Last but not least, throw those emoji hands up if you had a good time hanging out and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where are you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?